Alright guys, Richard here, aka Easy Breezy. Uh, I've been asked quite a few times about more in-depth details about how I did my login system. I am going to do this in a series here, so today I will cover the installation of the Bitnami WAMP server and downloading my login system files off of uh, Dropbox and installing those and getting everything on the server side ready and working. Now I use Bitnami because it's a decent WAMP server and it's compatible with so many things. Um, so once you get to bitnami.com you can go to applications here, click the WAMP server and you're going to download the 5.630 then you'll get this. Click it. And this is what we're going to do right now. We're going to install the server and get that going and ready. And I'll explain how to uh, work it correctly here. So next, we don't need any of these. Next, just need the MyPHP admin. Now right here it's going to ask for your WAMPstat database uh, password. Uh, the username is always, always going to be root. That is the master username. So for this I'm going to put YouTube for the password. I'm not going to use the cloud because that makes things a little more complicated. I'm going to use localhost. Alright, so I'm going to pause my video until this is done installing. Alright, so the Bitnami UAMP server is installed now. I'm going to launch it. Just that. I just noticed that, that my uh, screen recorder there it goes black every time I get a Windows. Uh, it's just asking me if I want to use administrator rights and whatnot, so don't worry if, or yeah, don't worry if you think I'm hiding anything because that's exactly what it is. Anyway, so as you can see, once we go to manage servers, this WAMP stack, NAM WAMP stack, um, it doesn't show up on your desktop. But this application is what you will need a lot of the time. So to get this, I'm going to close this. That's the install, so I'm going to delete that. Now I'm going to go to my thing here, C drive, Bitnami, WAMP stack. Come down to Manager Windows. I'm going to send to desktop, create a shortcut. There, see? Alright, so now what we're going to do, now that you guys have this on your desktop, uh, we're going to go to open my PHP admin. Root. And YouTube. Just to show you quick here, what we're going to do now is uh, go to New Database. I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call this um, Test. Don't create a table at this moment. So now we're going to go to the thing here. Uh, whoops, sorry. Let's go to uh, htdocs and the Bitnami install. So it'd be C drive, Bitnami, WAMP stack, Apache 2, htdocs. Now inside my login system file you guys downloaded. There is the for WAMP server. Just highlight all this, drag it, drop it, 
close this for now and we can close that for now close that go back here and we will go 127.0.0.1 forward slash setup enter so now this is where you put in your database information for Unreal Engine to work with so 127.0.0.1 is our local host now I made that test database and that's crucial make sure you have a database created um, so we're going to point towards the test uh, database with the login username of root and the password is YouTube we're going to click next database configuration success set up your config file whatnot uh, and delete the setup directory okay so now we can minimize that we'll go back to the directory here so local desk bitman lamp apache 2 ht docs and we can delete the setup all right so now when we go back into my php admin and we go into the test one remember there's no tables that install created two tables inside here servers and users the users one is the one we're going to utilize the most in Unreal Engine uh, for this tutorial anyway uh, so here we have six default profiles and it comes with login key, username, password, user ID uh, the status of them, what rank they are, level, experience they have, experience they needed if they are banned uh, what their email address is and yeah so that's that's what we uh, start off with here and just to show you that this works here I'm gonna show you um, this one's offline right now but usernames test password is test so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go to 127.0.0.1 enter I'm going to log in here with that profile, test and test. Log in, it shows me my registration key. Um, we can go up here to stats, and I think in here now, if I refresh this, it's still saying offline. Um, it does turn it online once we get to the Unreal Engine side. I will show you that. I don't the website doesn't say that you're online right now and honestly I don't think I would have it to say if you're online or not just by being on the website that'd probably be like a privacy issue or something um, that's my personal opinion uh, I'd like to also thank you Sparkfire and uh, Mark Frederick for providing the original code way back in 4.1 um, so yeah this one is compatible with 4.15 at the moment and now 416 is coming out so hopefully this will keep going um, I'm gonna call it for the end of the series for today and now we have the server running we have everything installed we have the database set up um, the next thing will be working with Unreal Engine